today I have, uh, I'm using a MacBook. Don't get confused. We'll, similar to the Windows Mac also we have, uh, here I'm using Visual Studio for uh, as a text editor, Notepad. And uh, we have terminal here instead of command prompt. We'll go and create new file. Just two dot Java. Public study wide main. I have main method. Insert the main method. Index equal to one. I declared one variable. System dot out dot. Until now. System out dot printer and I am just printing the x value. Not to give plus operator after the double quotes. See, once we declare the local variable, we have to give the data type int x equal to one. I want to change the value x equal to two. Here, no need of declaration using the data type. After uh, changing the value. Control C. I want to print the value again. I am changing the value again. X equal to three. I'm printing the value. X equal to four. What we are doing, we are just changing the value from X equal to one to two, three, four, five. After that, we are printing the value. x equal to six. This is straightforward. We have a test two class, insert test two class. I have a main method, insert the main method. We are just print, declaring the one local variable int x equal to one. After that, I'm printing the value. And x equal to two, system dot printer on printing the value. Similarly, we are printing the all values by changing the x value. Here, save this, control s. To run the our class, we have to go to the terminal. Here we have a, in a MacBook we have terminal. In Windows we have command prompt. Java C test two dot Java. Whatever I am saving, compiling, compilation success, then it will go and save into the same folder dot less file. To change the dot less file location into the different folder, we have hyphen D option. Hyphen D double dot slash classes. This two dot Java. Now this is compiled success. I have to go to the CD double dot slash classes, classes folder to run our class. For running, we have Java, Java command, Java test two. Now we are just printing the values from one to six, changing the X value and printing the values. If you see in the test two class, we have a common code. We just declare the variable and printing the value. 
here we are just uh, giving updating the value and printing the value similarly updating the value multiple times and printing the value see here we are just printing the value from 1 to 6 but if you want to print the value from 1 to 100 we need to write a code 100 times same code in any programming language to avoid this duplication code we have loops In all programming languages, we have loops. Using the loops, you can avoid the duplicate coding. Now we can take one example and see how many types of loops are there and how to use the loops in the Java. Now here, I'll take file, new file. We have for loop. While loop and do while loop. Just saved it. And uh, I'll take one example and I'll write a code for the same file. I want to create a test three class. In test three class, default executable method is main method. So having arguments to public static void main string args. String is a type of array. Now we have printed value x value from one to six. How to achieve this using the for loop? Int x equal to one, x less than or equal to six, x plus plus. For printing any message in the terminal, we have system out dot print element. Here what we are doing in for loop, I just declared one variable and define the variable int x equal to one. The second uh, type is here, it's a validation. If this condition is true, then it will come to the loop and it will execute again. And third type is here, is a operator here it is we are using as a incremental operator previously we have seen the x plus plus if your x value is one if you go to x plus plus the value will become to the two first we can run this then we will i'll explain how it is working control s go to the terminal our class is in an src folder. cd double dot slash class src.
now to compile this java c type on the double dot slash classes test three dot java compilation success cd double dot slash classes we'll go to the classes run this test three no need to give dot class file it will come it will run the file you see here both outputs are same but previously we are we have done some hard coded thing like duplicate code to avoid the duplicate code we have a, a for loop here we use the for loop in the next example how the for loop will work whenever we run the java test 3 first main method will execute because inside this uh, test 3 class we don't have any statics and uh, non static members there is no members so only we have main method default executable method is the main method main method will execute first it will come to the main method in the main method we have for loop inside the for loop first this will execute it will initialize the value x value x equal to 1 then it will check the condition x less than or equal to 6 x less than or equal to 6 means it will check the condition 1 1 less than or equal to 6 1 is less than or equal to 6 1 is less than 6 so if the condition is true then it will come to this and it will print the value x value is 1 then after printing this before exiting exiting the loop it will check this it will change the value here x plus plus incrementing one value x plus plus equal means for commenting the line we have uh, this double slash x plus plus means x equal to x plus one this is a inter internal it will change like this uh, value x value is one one is becoming to one plus one equal to two now x value is two then it will check the condition two less than or equal to six that is also true because two is less than six then it will print this again after printing this the value will become x plus plus means two plus one three 3 less than or equal to 6. That is a condition also true. It will print the x value is 3. After that, value will increment one more time. 3 plus 1 equal to 4. 4 less than or equal to 6. That is also true. It will go and print this. Again, it will increment one value. It will become 5. And it will become 6. After 6, again the value will increment to 7. If 7 less than or equal to 6, that will is become as a false in that false condition it will come and out of the this loop after this it will come and print here if you adjust for our uh, testing out dot print l and off after for loop after printing the value from one to six we are just exiting the loop I will compile this again. Go to the SRC folder. Compile this by using Java C command. After compiling this, go to the classes. Run the test six. After printing all one to six, we came to after for loop. We can see more for loop examples when we go to the next concepts. Now this is about the for loop. Now what is a while loop? For the same example, I'll take one more class, test four. I am saving this file as a test4.java. Save. Public static void main. String arc. Index equal to 1.
while x less than or equal to 6. Not out dot. Until enough. X value is x. Here, what we are doing, we have a condition int x equal to 1. We just declared one variable, local variable to the main method. After declaring the variable, we have a loop, while loop. While is a keyword. It is also similar to the definition block method. And in, it's having a condition here. X less than or equal to 6. If condition is true, it will come inside. If condition is false, it will come and exit, exit the loop. System order has been done enough. While loop. While loop ended. In these brackets, we can give the condition. If condition is true, it will come inside the loop. If condition is false, it won't come inside the loop. Here, After printing the value, x plus plus, increment the value. Because we need to check the condition, we have to increment the value. Up to the x value is 6, we have to print the value. If uh, value is 7, we should not print. More than 7, like more than 6, we should not print. Similar to the for, uh, for loop. In for loop, in the one single statement, We have, this is a declaration depending the variable and we have the condition. If condition is true, it will come inside. We have the incrementing operator in the same loop, uh, same block itself. This is a for loop. Similar to for loop, while loop also doing the same. While loop, we declare the variable in the main method. This is a condition block. In the condition block, if, uh, if the condition is true, we are incrementing the value, then we are incrementing here. If condition is true, we are printing the value, then we are incrementing the value. Control S. Go to SRC. For compiling Java C command. If you have any spelling mistake, because this is a derived data type, if derived data type, this uh, string class is coming from the JDK installation. Whenever you install the JDK Java, we'll get all these classes. If you set the environment variable, this class name should be the same. If you give any wrong here, it will be compiled and error. Compilation success. Go to the classes and run the class. See, we got the same output. Now I want to print the value x value from 1 to 100. You can give the condition like this x less than 100. It will print 1 to 99. If x x less than or equal to 100 means it will print 1 to 100. If you want to print 1 to 100, we have one more condition. If x x less than 101, we'll get up to 100 values. We can give any 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 kind of condition over there. Compile this by using Java C command. Go to the classes and run this. See, now we got 1 to 100, all the values. Here, no need or no, there is no duplicate code. If you want to go and print 1 to 100, you have to just to copy paste all these values multiple times. To avoid the duplicate code, if you have any same similar code, 
but there is a small change in the code like the value chain update you can go and write the loops now we can go and see one more kind of loop class test 5 saving the class test 5 dot java static void main string args this is a do while loop less than or equal to 6 if you insert the do do you have to insert the value int x equal to 1 system dot out dot print ln off We're just printing the value and x plus plus. You can see whether it is compelling success or not. In do while loop, it's similar to while loop, but in case of do while loop, we are not checking the condition at the first. We are checking the condition at the last. in case of while loop we are checking the condition at the first first we are checking the condition then we are uh, going and proceeding to print the values but in case of do while loop first we are printing the value then we are checking the condition in this case we might get the values from 1 to 7 we'll see that after compiling this until less it is considering this value is a local to the do do loop you have to put uh, control x go and put outside the the declaration should be the outside in case of do while see here cannot find the symbol that is local to do loop if you come outside while it's not accepting you have to take that as outside compilation success go to the classes run this test file now we got the same output see in case of do while first we are uh, printing the value then we are checking the condition but in case of while loop first checking the condition then we are printing the value and incrementing the value in case of do while first we de declaration should be outside of the do do while loop then we have to print the value and increment the value and check the condition but all we have all three kind of loops all are used for to avoid the duplicate code if you have already known any duplicate code is there but in duplicate code we have a incremental value based on the incremental value we are printing some uh, uh, duplicate uh, messages like uh, we are printing x value is 1 2 3 something like that in that case we can go and use the loops here 
the, now we have learned uh, just basics of the loops. We can learn now when to use for loop and when to use while loop and when to use do while loop in the next class. Before that, we'll go and take different uh, example. Now class person. One non-static variable, instance variable, string name. Now another variable in th. Now one more variable, double salary. I declared three non-static variables. I have a method. Is eligible for what? Pages Cardano equal to eighteen. Return true other than all conditions else return false and uh, I'll get one more uh, three more non static methods. Have string get name return name I have good age see whatever methods I'm creating all are non static methods. Double get salary inside the person class. I have three non static variables, instance variables, and I have four methods, all are non static. Now go to the another class, class test six. Insert test six. I will implement public public static void main string arcs. See here, all we have non static members inside the person class. I want to create person class object. Person one equal to new person. Person one dot name equal to ABC. 
on dot a is equal to 32. So one dot salary equal to give some value. After creating a person object, I just assign some values to the non-static variables of the person. System out dot printer now. Now one dot get name. I have a get name method to get the name of the person object. We are just printing the values. System dot out dot. Person one dot get age. See how to get the values of the person class. System dot out dot. Print L now. Person one dot get salary. This is a T by calling the get name and get age and get salary, we can get the values of the person. Similarly, we can get the same values. Instead of calling the get methods, you can simply, you can, uh, by using the reference of the object, we can get the variables. Person one dot age. Age is a variable. In Java, all the identifiers is a case sensitive. Case sensitive means whatever case we have given for the attribute. The case is NAMA, all small letters. We have to use all small letters. If you use a capital letter in case of N, capital N, it is a different attribute. So this is the two ways we can get the non-static variables of a person class by creating the object. Similarly, system dot out dot print L and off. Person one is eligible for vote. I gave 32 as a parameter. Here we'll get uh, each person is eligible for vote. Now I can create one more person object. We can create any number of objects to the class. I created person two class. Person two dot name equal to X, Y, Z. Person two dot A is equal to 17. Person two dot salary equal to I gave some number. Now here, I am not printing anything. System dot out dot. Print L and off. This person is eligible for a vote. Now take the class name test six control C control S test 
In our class, we have person class. Person class, we have three attributes, non-static variables. You can tell as instance variables. And we have four methods. First method, we are just checking he is eligible for vote. We are sending the age to this uh, uh, method as a parameter. And we are checking the if condition. If age is greater than or equal to 18, if more than 18 or equal to the 18, we are returning the true. He is eligible for vote is true. If he's not eligible, if he's not age is not greater than or equal to 18, it means less than 18. 